SSIS learning module regarding the CDC is going on. In the previous video, we have seen how to use the CDC uh, control to, uh, for the initial data load. And in this video, we will discuss after extracting the initial data load, how to load the incremental data into our destination and we for, for this we will use the CDC's uh, source control, CDC splitter control in SQL Server data tool. So let's move to the SQL Server data tool to design our package for the incremental data load. This is the SQL Server Management Studio and uh, this is our uh, source instance and uh, our source database is the trading DB and uh, we are using for the data uh, our source table is customer underscore data table we have uh, used this table for the initial load and now we will use for the incremental data load this table and our destination instance name is this one sql server 2017 and this is our destination database trading db and during the initial data load we have created one table this table which contains now the records to almost 2000 records and now we will use the same table for the incremental data load before going to the sql server data tool to design the uh, incremental data load package first we will do some modification in our source uh, table in this database this is our source database and uh, i'll have this is our source table from where we uh, design the package for in initial load and now in our destination we have the, the 2000 records and now i will do some modification in this table in our source table for the incremental data load and i will uh, modify one record the record customer key is 2 i will modify the address right now this is the address line 1 and there is uh, the address line 2 is null so i will change for this customer the address line 1 this one and address line 2 with this uh, data so there will be now one modification and uh, now i will insert one record this is some temp table i have one new record in this table and i will insert this record into my source table so we have one new record and uh, one up, updation in our source table. This data we will upload into our destination. So we will see how to extract these modification, these changes by using the CDC feature and how to upload into the destination. This is a SQL Server data tool and uh, here I created a new package and I renamed it to incremental data load CDC. So I will use this package for the incremental data load using the CDC. So I have to use the CDC control task to configure my the, uh, this uh, incremental data load. In the previous package in the initial data load, I used the operation during the configuration is the initial load start but right now because this is an incremental data load so i will use the here the operation is the get processing range and this is my uh, source database and source instance from where i will get the extract the incremental changes and this is the variable which we created already to uh, hold the uh, cdc states regarding our data and this is our destination where the data will be uploaded and uh, this is the state table which we created earlier it is this is the table which holding the uh, cdc states that what is the status of our data it's how much is old and when it's it's up to date or not so this is the cdc state name so the uh, we have configured the um, this cdc control for our initial incremental data start so i will use the proper naming convention this control will hold the state for the incremental load start and then i will use the data flow task to configure my data flow and data flow task i have to use the cdc source for incremental data 
these are all my sources and I will use the CDC source now for the incremental data. So I have to configure the CDC source and uh, my source database is trading DB and CDC enabled table is this customer underscore data which I will use and uh, this is the shadow table which is coming automatically and I have to uh, use a mode net. Net will take the last image of the data. As I explained earlier that it will if I updated the records uh, two times image uh, it will take only the last copy of the data. And this is the variable which is con Containing the CDC state and I will use the columns and this source is configured. Now I have to use the CDC splitter which will split which will detect the what are the modifications, what are the updations and what are the insertions or deletions. So I have to use the CDC splitter. I will use the CD splitter and this CDC splitter this CDC splitter uh, I will use these all columns and the, it will split the input into the new update and deleted so I will use the derived column for the new insertions. This is the derived column task. Now when I will configure this one, it will ask me what will the which output I have to use deleted, inserted or update. I will use the insert output and I have to define a derived column here. A new column the this ETL data load date which will keep the date when the data will be uploaded into the destination table. So I have to configure here a new column, output column, derived columns and I will add the new column. Its name is this column will automatically add the date when the new data will be inserted. And uh, for the insertion I will use the destination source ADO dot and I have to configure my destination this is the my destination instance and the database and I will use the this customer data destination table for my destination and this is a source and destination tables columns matching mapping and uh, now the in new insertions the splitter will split and it will go here and if there is an update I will use the OLDB control for to update my destination update my destination I have to configure and uh, I have to select that update I will uh, configure this OLDB command here first I have to configure my destination because this is a OLEDB so I have to use the OLEDB um, destination which is uh, this destination is uh, trading DB DW and I have to write the SQL command to update my destination table which is the this one customer underscore data and this is a syntax to update. I want to update only the address one, address two, CT, zip. This I don't. I am going to update only the this address one, address two, and the load date, which is my user created date. 
with the uh, current date when this will update the load date will be the current date where customer key is this one so this command i will use to update there is some error error is that uh, the syntax error near to the load date so i have missing some comma here now let's see yes now is okay It's saying this is the wrong column's name. Uh, I'll change the. I will change. This is not address one. It's the address line one, and address line two. The invalid command load date. I have copied this all before etl underscore load date this is my column name which i created so it's now okay parameters are not bound i have to bound the parameters because for the update i'm using the the parameters these these uh, question marks are the parameters so i have to configure this in the mappings which parameter belongs to which one parameter 0 is the address line 1 so i have to use from here the address line 1 parameter 1 is the address line 2 and this is the customer key address line 1 address line 2 and this is the customer key so i have configured the parameters so the my incremental package is uh, now ready i will execute the package first i have to configure this one control flow uh, first it will mark the incremental data load start and then it will execute the data flow task then again i have to use the cdc control tasks to configure my the incremented load end now i have to configure rename incremental load end and i have to configure this that this is the mark processing range end and this is the state my this is my source and this is the destination and CDC state table I have to select this one and this is now ready so I have to execute this package so we have one new record added and when records we modified so this is saying there are two uh, modifications in the source tables so it's cdc source and cd it's extracting the two more this modification one is the new which is going to the by splitter into the new uh, this uh, uh, using the idio.net destination the new record will be inserted and uh, splitter will send the modification to this side by using the oily db command we will update into the destination so now let's move to the sql server to check our changes